Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a calendar from a SharePoint list. The usual scenario for this is if you're on a team and you want to create a team calendar to see who's on PTO or vacation. And in the modern version of SharePoint, you can actually create this quite easily with list. So let's see how we can do that. I'm in the uh, home page of it, and all I need to do is go into new, select list, and let's create a very simple list. We'll just use a blank list, and we'll call this uh, PTO, and I won't do the navigation. I won't do the site navigation because I'm going to use something later on to, for the calendar. Create, And then it's going to create the list for me. And we have our default column, which is a title and add column. I'll just have this change that to name because we're going to assume these are people's names. Click save and also enter two other columns. And they're both going to be date columns. This is going to be the start. That's going to be the start date. And I'll select date and time. Uh, I don't need to include the time. I'll just click save and then add another column. This will be the end date. Click on that, click the date and time, and I just put end, click save. And now all I need to do is enter some names. I'll just enter some names. Let's just enter some people's names. We'll put Sally. Maybe she's going to start our PTO on the 16th and end that on the 16th. Click save. Let's add another one. We'll call this person Ashish. And Ashish maybe is going to do his on Friday. And also probably take Monday off and click save. And let's just add one more person. Let's make this one Phil. And he's going to take a whole week off on the 21st. And end that on the 25th. Click save. And now we've got three people which will show their PTO. Go to all items. And what we want to do is create a new view from this list. Now the three that are available for us is list as it already is, calendar, and gallery. We want to choose calendar. What's important here is the start of the calendar is that start date that we've identified earlier and our end date that we identified early. My create button is grayed out because I need to give this view name a name. So I'll just call this PTO calendar. Click create. And now it's going to create the calendar view. Hide this events pane because if I click on here, then it will just tell me uh, that specific detail. If I click on that, double click on that, It'll tell me the detail of that and so I don't need that here in this example I'll just hide this so here's our calendar view so that's kind of nice right if I go to home unfortunately if I go to home and I want to click on the site contacts and look at my calendar view and go to that PTO list it's going to come with that default list and I'm going to have to go back and click on that PTO calendar view I can change that actually I can actually have that link change this though this link goes to the particular list right now. So let's not do that. Let's copy this. Control C to copy. Let's edit our navigation pane here. Go over to PTO, edit that. I'd copy the link from above in the URL. Control V to paste that in there. Click OK. Click Save. And now if I click on Home, it will take me back to the home screen. And if I clicked on the, my PTO link, it will take me to my calendar view of that PTO. So that's the way that we can show a calendar with the SharePoint list. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.